Okay then, everyone. I have finally got uh, this working the way I wanted it. So it's nice and efficient on my small footprint of my small vertical factory here. I did have to use this whole top floor to get this done. Okay, so the first thing we need to do in this episode is to run on over to the RH beacon over this way. Now, this beacon is where you will find the the first warehouse area, and we need it so we can get our filter inserters and the planters and the, uh, not, the not the assemblers, we've already got them, but the um what do you call them uh freshers that's the ones and we've got a uh, a thing to scan here and this door requires that you do bring with you a uh where are we do we have any yes a, a crank generator to actually power up the door in fact they can go there because we don't need that anymore So, if we place crank generator down on this, if, if you click this, it'll tell you that you need power. So, we then need to put crank generator down and just hit the crank generator and activate it. It will then... Uh, power <laughs> I thought it wasn't working there, but it will uh, it'll restore the power. You can, at this point, delete that. So, you can take it back and you don't have to worry about it. Jetpot. A warehouse. I knew that gigantic door was a good sign. So we've got three out of four of our research cores. Now, there's lots and lots of stuff to scan in here. So there's the filter inserters here. You've got your monorails. So now we've got monorails available in the tech tree. Let's get the rest of these inserters just for the parts and the basic inserters that it gives you. And we'll do the same down this side. Now, uh, in this one is Atlanta, I believe. Yeah. So that's the only box in here that I found that contains anything. I might have missed something before, but I'm pretty sure that's the only one. There's also a box over here with a few accumulators and some crank generators. In. So you can do this. Uh, a section whenever you get it show up, guys, and and it gives you a lot of the early tech. Be sure to look up, because otherwise you will miss the stuff above. Can get through that way. Go down here. Uh, it does not know where it turns off fast run in these areas. I still want fast run. I can control my character, thank you. And then back down and we get more planters for more components down below. And another box in this corner. And last but not least, whilst you're in here, make sure you go up to the door and activate this door, which is going to get you in eventually to the uh, modules over there. Task inbound. Supply facility access door with self-repair materials. That's all you need in here, guys. Oh, I missed them. Look through the window breaker. I can literally see the mining charge tech right yeah, yeah. I saw it too. Kind of miserable bureaucrat okay, now that we've uh, prepared, don't forget to pick up this actually. Now that we've prepared ourselves for this episode, let's go on back. I want you to fix that door. Another quick thing, just to mention, guys, is that I did uh, get bored of uh, clicking on the crank generators constantly. So I did find a couple of water wheels in a box somewhere. I'm not sure if it was one of the uh, ones that are hidden around the level, or just one of the ones that you find anyway. But anyway, two crank generators, as you can see, produce uh, producing 100 na uh, newton meters of uh, torque each. 
creates 200 newton meters of torque and each of these uses uh, 40 newton meters so you can have five connected to two and as you can see that's creating us enough power at the moment we've got 750 and it saves me having to come back and click on it all the time whilst making these videos okay so oh what's that it's kind of stuck there bug okay so what i'm going to do this episode is i'm going to get the by not the bio bricks the plant matter frames going because we need frames and the way i'm going to do that is just to create another top level over the top of what we already have like so and what I'm probably going to actually, because I think I'm going to need quite a few bits for it. So I'm going to just make this all at one level without a gap in the middle now. Now, we do have an issue here. Uh, we don't have a way up and we've reached the end. So I'm going to build out a couple more here very quickly. And we'll, we'll just go up here, I think. Uh, so we need a little landing here. Which we'll do nicely. And then we should be able to go up. Like so. Wonderful. And as these are building for us, let's finish this up. Or not, as the case may be. So hopefully we can get a bit further along with this now. Oh, we need another 35 of them. So what I have worked out before this episode is that we are going to need to make efficient production of the plant matter fiber. I'm going to need 10 planters and then two intermediary freshers with six freshers doing the final breakdown. That is going to leave me with a lot of plant matter extract and I can't remember what we use that in at the moment. But we are going to end up with a lot of plant matter extract left over. And we are also going to creating a lot of plant matter fiber, which we can use to build our plant matter frames. So let's uh, cancel this crafting. We've got enough of that now. Uh, but we are going to need to learn in the tech tree first uh, our freshers and our planters. There we go. Now. Resources to produce a variety of organic goods. Let's get electrical power. One, required. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. Uh, and eight of these. There we go. Supply with seeds to rapidly reproduce fully grown flora. Electrical power required. Let's move these up here. <laughs> so these can go on seven and eight. We need to make sure we come back. Two away from the edge as well. I thought it was, but I wasn't. And one. Two, three, four. And I'm going to be really awkward with these last two and have them at both ends like that in case I need to do something in the middle. Now. we then want is these ones going that way and this one as well going the exact same way like this wonderful and We 
we also need these. Coming this way. No, these coming this way like this. To take seeds back in again. There. Wonderful. Look at that. And then we're going to need these freshers now, which we are, we have six of, we have two more building. So we want two and then three. Am I going to be able to fit two and then three? I think I'm going to put these ones sideways like this. Okay, that'll work well. Ah, oh, this is going to work perfectly. So if we go like this. is going to be perfect. No, it's not. Yeah, that'll work. And we only need to take in one out of them. And these need to take out. These ones need to be putting back in. As well as these ones. Wonderful. Okay, so we've got the full setup ready now. We have 10 planters with two freshers doing the first bit of freshing. Let's put down some more freshers to do the last bits. We need to fit three in. Now we need to have some F, some filter inserters here. Filter inserters are especially critical. So coming out of here is going to be Kindlevine stems, you might not want to have different which we want to go the into there. Getting pulled into the same machine. And, the filter inserters and these help. ones are going to do the Kindlevine seeds to feed back in over here. We are going to need a long inserter. going to be our only long insert by the looks of it at the moment. The so long insert is going to need to come... Oh, yeah, we're going to need to change the way that's working then. 
So it's not out of that one, it's going to be out of this one. So this one needs to be the Kindervine Seed. And just so it looks more symmetrical, I am going to make this one go the same height because I'm weird like that. And this one needs to also take up seeds. Now, these only produce 10 seeds a minute and these filter inserts can do 30 per minute. So that should work lovely. Now let's uh, stack these up with some seeds, which I think are down here. Let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. We've got some seeds. So we can put these seeds into these and let them do a bit of growing and then they'll stack up and we'll put a second lot in because we want them to be coming out and growing as quick as they need to. I haven't worked out the exact numbers on the seeds because to be honest I don't think it matters. As long as you've got enough seeds backing up to keep these constantly running, it will keep this working at full efficiency. Okay, so now we just have to wait for them to grow. Okay, make sure you are careful when building all of this as well, because you will run out of power, because this consumes quite a lot of power. As you can see, we're... We're using sort of one, two, one, six at the moment. Uh, and we've only just uh, got enough, uh, just because I put down a few more crank generators at the moment. Although I'm gonna have to get two water wheels soon and build some more of them. So what's going on here? Ah, these are backing up here, look, which they shouldn't be doing. They should be going this way. There we go. So we wanna keep putting these in to the planters until we've got enough backed up. So you, you want to help back it up by doing this. Just doing this all manually for a little bit. Wonderful. You can see these backing up with one or two seeds, but they, they do need to have uh, four seeds available coming out, so. Make sure you keep topping these up until you're at that equilibrium. And as you can see, these are now chucking out the stems, which is great, except we didn't put them in. Now, when these are taking stems, you'll see that these take 10 a minute. So it's enough just to have one of these. To have nearly reached an equilibrium with the amount of seeds. Uh, but what I've found out is that uh, you need five planters to work one uh, intermediary fresher with three other freshers doing the output of the intermediary fresher. And as you can see, everything's running nicely. I'm just putting into boxes at the moment, and I may change this so that this box is taking out this way instead. But I want this box to go back this way and then do a, a spiral uh, up the middle rather than uh, at the sides like I've got for my iron and my copper in case I need to spiral them up more as it is. Ooh, run out of fuel here. Let's... Put some fuel in these ones. There we go. Anyway, as I was saying, I want to show you this first. So the ratio, the golden ratio for this, for the Kindle Vine ones, is five planters, which can feed one fresher, which will then feed three other freshers. 
And that will get you Kindle Vine Extract, which you can see is stacking up really, really quick. So I'm going to have to look at some way of dumping that at the moment until I'm ready to use it. And we are stacking up uh, the plant matter fibers are ready to build our plant matter frames. What I did down here as well is I created a eternal loop for the uh, the seeds so that these are always getting fed uh, and you do have to uh, feed these until there's enough going around uh, in a row. You could build a box and just feed it out of the box but I just kept feeding them until there was enough seeds going around and that provides enough for these to be continuously running. Uh, you can see that this one isn't continuously running at the moment uh, and that's because this may not be running quite as perfect as I want it to. But these will stack up a little bit as well. Then because we are feeding into these, uh, these ones, sorry, as you can see, they are creating uh, 30 per minute of the stems. So that is 60 for both of them. So as you can see, these take in 10 per minute. Those take in 10 per minute. And that one takes in 10 per minute. So that is where your one lot goes. Uh, and it's the same on the other side. And they produce 30 per minute of extract and the plant matter fiber so out of each of those we're getting 180 per minute so two 180s is 360 so we had to use a mark ii belt here which we have collected some of we've we're, we can't make this yet i don't think but uh we need a mark ii belt taking these quick enough so that these can feed at full speed and as you can see i've got Six of these around the outside of this, taking in at 30 uh, per minute, which is enough for one of each one. And six around this one as well, which is enough for um, one fresher's worth every minute. So that's working really, really efficiently now. And the reason we need two lines of this is that we will be feeding into assemblers making plant matter frames. And the numbers don't work unless you have two assemblers making plant matter frames you end up with a lot of excess so i'm going to build that on a level above this but i want to show you this nice and in the clear before i built a second level on top and i couldn't show you so i'm going to go do that now okay so i'm carrying on and putting some more more bits down Ooh, fell off. Just so we can get the. Uh... So let's work out where the middle is. Not over here. It's oh, it's where we put this edge bit here. So we kind of want to spiral up around there if we can, don't we? Up, up through the middle. So we're going to have to come this way definitely. So it'll be two across and then two up. So we're going to have to go above. And these things are only producing, how much are they producing? They're producing 180, so we can go with level 1s, because level 1s will carry them at a fast enough speed. So, number 4, if we go like this, and then above this one I think, should we go above? Or should we... Yeah, because I've always... No, I'm going to go above this. But what I'm going to do first is just build that there, just so that that means I go above. And then I can come down there. That will do. Now I can take away this. Oh. How have I got... Oh. Don't want that. So to counter that, what we'll do is we'll come around there and just make a little bend like that. And then remove... No, can't remove that. 
doesn't keep the bend. So we're going to have to do that. Let's get rid of this, because we don't want these. There we go. Now, I think I'm going to start the spiral by taking it at height. Oh, that's one I missed. There we go. I think to get up here, it's going to be difficult. So, let's... Uh, I wanted to come off. There we go. Let's just build a big section out here, just so we don't fall off, and just so we can get it built up. Then we can delete it afterwards. Now, to get up there... This is the middle bit, so I need to go around here. So we need to come out to an op one, don't we? I believe. Out to op one. Cross to op one. That should actually get us all the way up, just with that little spiral there. So let's see if that works out. Oh, yes, look at that. Lovely. Now we can get rid of all this, because we don't want this in the way. Be really careful, because sometimes it doesn't target what you want it to target. Let's get rid of these two, and then get rid of all of this. Look at that. Don't have a way up there at the moment, but it's good. It's up. Which way are we going to go with this? Yeah, I think we'll go this way. So, we just need two assemblers up here, of which we have none. Oh no, we do. We do. We've made them ready. And they can just go one apart, like that. Because they can then dump everything onto the same bit that comes out here. And it's going to dump our frames in a box, in the corner, as we've done with pretty much everything else, I think. So there needs to be space, one, two, so it's here the box needs to be. Let's put a box down. And then that's in the right place. So it's like that we need to go. But the box is in the slight wrong place, look. We need to come back one. So we do need one more here. Why have we got no inserters available? Now, these things... And just use little ones like this and you're making us some frames lovely frames it is too like so and to be honest i think we only need that yeah because it's only making two frames look so that should be plenty enough 
And if we have one of you taking in. Look at that. Perfect. So they take in 15 a minute. And these things are dumping in more than 15 a minute. Oh no, they're taking 60 a minute. Hang on, these aren't taking enough then. These need to be fast inserters. Our fast and a single is what we need. I'll put the fast there. There we go, now that's taking in 60. A minute, which is exactly what that needs to fill up. And these things are only getting 15 per minute, which is fast enough for these things to take out. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect frames. Now, should we make something so that we can get up there? Because I don't think I'm going to build this any higher. Should we build... Ah, oh, that works perfectly, look. Except it's really hard to... There we go. Look at that. Yes. That's perfect. Okay, so we are now perfectly making our uh, plant matter frames. I just wanted to add something on here, guys. This wasn't working as perfectly as I thought it was. Um, I've put down now two fast inserters here which take out 80 items per minute but I forgot that we weren't taking enough items out per minute because these require 60 per minute so these aren't going to be working at full speed just yet until we can get stack inserters because to be honest you know if these filter inserters are all putting in at the perfect speed which is what they are doing you know that they're just and just keeping up these need to output just on one side but that is perfect for when we do have our stack inserters okay and we are now building our uh, our frames reasonably efficiently almost 100% we're just we're just short just short of being perfect Okay, guys, so that is now making the perfect plant matter frames. It's taking a little while to build this, but if you've enjoyed this episode, then please give me a like. And, you know, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, then please subscribe to my channel and I'll work out the, the perfect ratios of pretty much everything by the end of this series. Uh, and uh, you can learn it with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.